So, I'm going to be blatantly honest. I saw the movie, so this is going to be a triple review. Actually, yeah, frick it. Halloween, starting with the current Halloween trilogy. Halloween 2018. Now, I went to go see this movie in theaters, so Peacock did not exist in 2018. So I went to go see this in theaters with my mom and my sister. Three people. And I thought it was dumb when, it original, when I originally saw it, but then when I watched it again, I liked it. I don't know why I thought it was dumb originally. I, I don't know, but... The Halloween 2018 was a pretty solid Halloween horror film, and one of the best horror movies I saw in 2018. And then Peacock came around and is like, oh yeah, we're making a trilogy out of this. And let me state, I was not happy. No, I'm just kidding. Halloween 2018 was pretty damn good. And yeah, it was good. I didn't hate it. I think it was great. But then... The sequel came out. On Peacock last year, Halloween Kills. Now, I didn't put out a review for that. I really should have. But Halloween Kills was actually kind of kind of solid. It didn't have any stupid lines that were bad. It didn't have any, like, worse dialogue it didn't have. The kills were great, and it lived up to its name. I'm glad Dead Meat Kill counted it. That's awesome. Halloween Kills, I think it's good as well. But then you got the weakest link of the entire... This new trilogy, Halloween Ends. Oh, we're going to make a new cut of uh, Halloween Ends. Supposedly, uh, Halloween 2018 didn't get a extended version, but Halloween Kills did, and it only added one new scene. So are they going to do that too? Have the movie be garbage and then just one new scene? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, they at least showed how Lori's motivation was going to... But it takes place in 2019. After the events of Halloween Kills in 2018. Wow. Even though it's not even in 2018, it's still, <laughs> it still takes place in that continuity. But then, Halloween Ends has a guy named Corey, which they focus on in the entire movie. And the movie is supposed to be about Michael Myers. And they push Michael Myers to the sideline to focus on this dude named Corey. Who? <laughs> Who wanted this? They saw the cult elements and they, they included a lot of parts from other Halloween movies. Part 6 with the cult. And also, I guess from part Halloween Part 4, which... Makes sense, maybe. Where... Uh, besides that point, Corey, man, literally, they, they sideline Michael in his own third movie. Oh, a new cut possibly might happen. Right. I don't think people want a new cut of this. This movie felt like a CW movie. Holy frick. And I know there's been two of them. And the CW films are way better. Two of them actually are pretty decent. You know, Legend Fighter, Freedom Fighters, The Ray, and the Vixen movie were okay. They were animated well, but they're not like the worst compared to the shows. This. This is not it, Chief. Halloween ends. I don't recommend it. I could recommend Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills. But if you want to watch Halloween Ends, well, best of luck to you. Peace, guys. See you next time.